How strong is India's growth? Well, on the face of it, not too bad. India's growth picked up from 4.5% in October to December to 6.1% in Jan to March. Markets were expecting around 5%. Look under the hood and all the cylinders seem to be firing well. Agri, industry, services, construction, all pretty strong growth rates. But three things you need to keep in mind. One, consumption, which is nearly 60% of India's GDP, is lagging. India's GDP growth tracking over 6%, consumption around 3%. Last quarter, it was around 2%. And so higher inflation has hit rural consumers. So the next time you're in a restaurant and there's a 45-minute wait or you're in a flight and it all seems to be full, remember that's only part of the story. Two, investments. Now, much of this growth seems to be driven by stellar investment growth, which is positive because India's investment cycle has been slumping for a very long time. However, much of the heavy lifting seems to be coming from the government. The private sector is yet to join the party. And three, much of this growth has also come from strong software exports, which is good, but also lower import growth. So lower import means lesser money walking out of the country. But hey, when is it that you import more? When you consume, when you invest, when you export more, that's when you end up demanding more imports. So the fact that import growth is slowing could be indicative of weaker domestic demand. Want to know more such insights? Hit subscribe to The Bond Economist.